How to separate design from content? Fragments are life rays answer to this question. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. Today I'll talk about fragments, a life ray feature that allows for separating the technical web design issues from the creation and the updating of content. Take the example of a creative marketing department. They have many new ideas and need to constantly update the content of their website. They want their website to look good and have outsourced their content management to a company that specializes in web design. They really need a way of updating their content themselves without calling the specialists each time. Liferay fragments work with a combination of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The HTML has some extra tags that indicate where content creators can edit text and insert images. This way content creators can change their content without breaking anything. The CSS does what cascading style sheets usually do. Determine how the HTML is presented in the browser. And finally, the JavaScript is for all the fancy stuff like interactive behavior. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'm logged in here as the administrator in Liferay and I'll go through the creation of fragments step by step. So the first thing we have to do is go to design, fragments, and here we have to add a collection and I call this demo fragments. And now inside this collection I will add something that is called my image row. Now we have the fragments toolkit open and you can see that there is a part for HTML, a part for CSS and a part for JavaScript. So I'll first take some HTML from a file in the supplementary material and I'll copy it in there. And you can also see in the component on the lower right you can see something like a preview. And I'll also input some CSS and if you see, if you look at this fragment number 34682, this appears in the HTML and it also appears in the CSS. Uh, what you can also see is that we have this special tag LFR editable. That means that now inside this tag there is something that the end user can change. And we can see that the text is editable and also the images. So we publish this fragment. And now we go to the site builder, to the pages, and we edit a page called Fragments here. If you don't have this page, you have to create it. And now here we can insert the fragment we have just created. So we can go down to the demo fragments section here and drag in this fragment we have just created. Now we publish this. So now imagine that I am a different user. I'm now the content creator. 
and I go to my fragments page and I find this fragment here and I want to change the content here. So what I can do now is I can select these editable components that were flagged with this special tag LFR editable and I have my image, my text and second image and second text here. So I first start with the first image and I can now select an image from the photos collection and I can select another image from the photos collection And I can also select the text parts and write my own content here. And then I publish this and now we have this fragment in the page and this is more or less how it would look like for the end user. So in the CSS if you look at it you can see that there is some kind of effect when you hover your mouse over the images they become a little bigger. And what we can also see is responsive design. So if we say okay we want to look at it on a mobile phone we have the same effect, but now the text is not in green anymore, it's black and everything is in one column. That's all for today. I hope you found this useful.